welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl yes i'm back super back in a big way with a lot to say so right now let's tap into this collective reading um what i'm getting is that they want me to talk about current um, psychic messages okay of encouragement i'm not sure what's gonna come through for some of you there could have been a crossover loved one um someone who passed away recently this could be a friend this could be a Mm, in a way I can relate to this this could be um, a childhood friend it could be a sibling it could be a grandparent I'm hearing but someone that has a youthful spirit they want you to know um, what this this current psychic message of encouragement it doesn't matter when you're seeing this video whatever it's posted for my collective whoever is watching welcome um, this is my journey to awake walk the path with me okay so they want you to know that um that they you didn't do anything wrong specifically and you were right about a few things and if you didn't get along with them it's water under the bridge they understand why a lot of them really want to say that they are sorry for you sorry for you now i did i was not trying to say that but this is a channeled okay current message of encouragement sorry for you for what they did to you so if this resonates with you please keep in mind this is a general uh, message for some of you this could be related to the lgbtq community doesn't have to be um this could definitely be a brother sister two brothers um a brother is significant here dogs are significant um also ferris wills the summertime um and this is if they have passed over as well as if they are still here in this current space and time um work on your relationships that you have now is the current psychic message let's just get one more and then i don't know i'm not sure where i want to go with these collective readings i just hear messages and i'm like okay what do you want me to talk about oh your father so we have brother and father okay so there's definitely some healing energy that's coming up for the collective when it comes to forgiving a brother and forgiving a father. A father may be um, really wanting to, <sighs> to really be asking for your forgiveness for something that they did in the past that maybe affected your siblings or what have you. Um, if this is not your reading it's okay if you want to click off because like i said um this is gonna be for this is a collective reading okay um let's go through for some of you um you might feel worried about fatherhood or having a family with someone who you know um but they're 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 letting you know that you don't need to be afraid to to pray to your ancestors because in some sort of past life you had knowledge to some shamanistic energy um you were even a shaman yourself um the current psychic moon <laughs> you're the type of person who doesn't play games okay um don't be afraid to trust your intuition trust your intuition trust what you know and follow those moon cycles for some of you you are feeling like oh my god i need to follow the moon cycles am i following the moon cycles you are doing the right thing by following the moon cycles and talking to the moon don't let nobody tell you otherwise okay so what's happening next in love um let's tap into that energy um, what do you need to know about your love life? Um, thanks again for watching. Yes. Mm, for some of you, even if you're in a relationship, you could be feeling like 
you're going in a different direction okay um, you could be afraid of a breakup, afraid of a separation, afraid that things aren't going to work out into your favor, um, creating problems, issues, and dramas in your head that you don't even need to be thinking about. Um, what do you need to know about your love life? Some of you need to um use this affirmation that i say all the time it's kind of long you can write it in the comments you can edit it the person of my dreams can't wait especially if you are single to meet me marry me meet me fall in love with me and marry me don't be like oh my gosh she jumping the gun can't wait to meet me fall in love with me and marry me if you want to get married edit it let me know how that affirmation works for you um it has worked for so many of my clients okay um that's if you have gone through a breakup and you knew it was time to walk away um, what do you need to know about your love life fertility okay so, i'm just saying someone is really committed to you and you 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 being paranoid about this person thinking that they're not they are committed to you um this person wants you to have their babies um if you're in a situation you're with the child's father already they want more children like you, you just look so sexy to them um having a child is coming through and um i mean this could be work related i'm, I'm hearing but i did ask about your love life so for some of you you could be kind of falling in love with your work and maybe through this creative work it's going to attract someone who wants to impregnate you so if you are feminine energy yes someone wants to impregnate you um they're thinking about it that's what's coming up in the near future um and then on the bottom of the deck i really like you can't make this stuff up haters gonna hate but you will get married um a hater but you will get married you will have a family you will be with the person of your dreams okay you will jump that room okay i'm definitely hearing something about some of you doing some serious spiritual work in order to make this happen in your love life we have fertility in the room this could be the high priestess energy this energy could be related to taurus um virgo Capricorn, really strong communication is coming through. The person who's going to want to talk to you. Let's just tap into this. I just realized that we didn't even pull any tarot. So let's just pull some tarot cards and see what you need to know about this groom to be. Because clearly this, this, this is what's going on with love. Like someone's ready to really be serious about you. And don't let those you know what i want to call them right now <laughs> all the names in the book that ain't even right that ain't right <laughs> that's what i want to call them but you know most of us call them haters oh the haters but they you know they're lower than that they are oh my god i'm not even gonna say it all right let's bring it back let's raise the vibration because yes this is happening this groom some masculine energy it could even if it's a female we're talking about energy okay um this 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 masculine energy has a lot to offer and they want to offer it to you um, that's what's going on in your love life. So, uh, the, for some of you, this person is divorced. Some, some of you, this person is um, a DILF. Okay, could be dealing with a DILF. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> some of y'all are into that. But this person um, is, is available, okay? This is someone who's available. So, if you're over here trying to manifest someone who's married, that's on you. All right? So um let's see let's tap into the tarot oh i just got i felt some type of way i feel like oh somebody's wife somebody's husband is mad at you and you ain't even did nothing like what's going on <laughs> oh somebody's wife or husband mad at you and you haven't even did anything like you don't even want them like <laughs> you over here manifesting your own you're over here it, with this shaman and communication okay that's you okay communicating with the shamans okay telepathic communication get out of here okay let's just see 
Um, how's this room feeling about you? How's this masculine energy feeling towards my collective? Okay. Wow. Like, they want to take all your pain and all your sorrow away. If you've been feeling sad about them, or if you feel like this is a, a hot boy, a hot girl, like they travel too much, they party too much, if you've been missing them, they're like, bae, I'm coming back to you. You are tripping. <laughs> this person is like, I feel like you are my future baby mama, baby daddy. Um... Yeah, for some of you, I'm hearing that they want your DNA and they're trying to trap you. So you best be careful. <laughs> Make sure it's that higher vibrational frequency if you want to be attracting and creating. Um, lives. Energy. Um protons neutrons electrons like i'm saying if you're if you're out here trying to do that 30 acres of land per per it's probably more than that what am i even saying right now that that's mercury and aries energy guys back to this reading and how this person's feeling about you and this this procreation is a real thing don't think because this person is young for some of you that they they're not about that life yes um, for some of you, yeah, you could be worried that maybe this person is paying more attention to other things in their life, but you, but this person is saying to you that they're not. So if you're into the law of assumption and you understand it, then you know it's time to get with the program and don't blame them for things that sort of happened in the past. Sometimes the cups could be, um, could be dealing with a cancer, really strong cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, um, Taurus energy here with this high priestess. I am noticing the high priestess and the moon. Um, this person is kind of feeling like, um, you, they really can't hide anything from you. And if they've been trying to hide something from you, you're going to find out from their friends, from their family, or their friends or family have been talking to you about something. Okay. And definitely there is this energy of coming up as comparing you to someone from their past, but listen, they know you are way better than them. And that person needs to just dream on. Someone here could be trying to work their magic in the dark way it's like um that's not gonna work the only reason i'm saying that is because of this cloak that we have here the high priestess and the moon listen don't catch a spiritual beat down all right somebody's gonna catch a spiritual beat down playing with you and that's what i'm hearing very strong because if you're a part of my collective and you walk the path that i walk it's like you wouldn't even dare you wouldn't even dare don't even try it, okay? That was just a sidebar psychic message that wanted to come through for someone who needs to know. Don't worry about that person. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about their past. There's no, no one's doing anything to you. You're, you're all good. You're, you're all good. This is a divine union. What is this person going to do next? Because I do hear a lot of energy moving towards like what's going on like some of you could be feeling like you're stuck in a situation and you don't know what's going on um look at this we literally have the ace of cups and the ace of wands come on you know you can't make this stuff up <laughs> For some of you, it's like, I've been waiting for so long for this to happen. And there's been so many trolls and demons involved in this situation with this judgment card in reverse. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Libra, Scorpio. Hmm. Um, Queen, dealing with somebody's mama not liking you, I'm done. <laughs> whoever this is for please let me know like you like you've been through a lot but listen this person okay taurus virgo capricorn energy coming through but it's definitely leading to this right here that's why i love technology i love that you guys can just see this this effortless flow of abundance that's coming into your life like you this is literally happening right before your eyes and there's nothing anyone can do about it we have the four of ones some of you are seeing 11 11 some 
some of you are seeing this so much and you just feel like something amazing is about to happen and it is and especially in your love life in your career that new home something new new energy is coming towards you like no other and all you have to do is believe and trust your intuition i feel like that is a repeated message i feel like i'm talking forever and ever and ever some of you if you have been going through something where you've been scrutinized you know we're talking about love but now we're talking about all things this is just how my channel messages come through so walk the path with me all right <laughs> or consider booking a personal reading information linked in the book in the description below um this 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 fulfillment with this person it's it's lit it's happening it's definitely happening um i do see a pentacle here um the queen of pentacles okay and then i see the four of pentacles underneath that so for 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 a lot of you 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 could be feeling like okay this person says a lot but when are they actually going to really come through or is it going to actually happen and why are they acting this way and it could just be that this person is behaving this way because uh, they had a hard life growing up you know and the finances and material things it's like they're they're, they have a fear of loss, so they have a fear of abandonment, okay? But all of those generational curses of, um, I'm hearing strife and envy. A lot of you focus too much on like, oh, that the haters are going to do this or the haters are going to do that. This person that's coming in, they really just need love in their life. And it might be taking a while. Even if you're with this person, it might be taking a while. You might be seeing a different side of them if you're having financial issues. Just trust and use your affirmations in a way that supports your dreams and your desires. Because every time you speak, you are affirming something, okay? so trust your intuition be this queen of pentacles okay upright tap into that energy but right now do not deny if you need to hide your finances for some of you i'm definitely hearing that that's a yes so um let's just move forward and get some words of advice something you need to take away with you because I'm feeling guided to just leave it here for now. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me and my spiritual team. Welcome to Soul Foolish Girl. If you are new, welcome back. Yes. I love you guys and I miss you so much. So let's just get a word of advice. Right now, I'm hearing someone backing up there. It might be FedEx or something. I'm hearing that, you know, just take it easy, you know, back, keep your back against the wall, keep your guards up is what I'm hearing. Um, be careful going into any situation and also when you're driving. Okay, let's get any more messages that want to come through. Practice self-soothing. You have the power to comfort yourself when you are upset. Place your hand gently over your heart send yourself unconditional love to ease tension and frustration okay some of you you already know like these i want to say bees be stressing you out okay sometimes taking just Five breaths in, three breaths out. Okay, placing your hand over your heart, yes. Send yourself unconditional love. You know, be comfortable with saying like, I'm not able to do that today. Okay, let's get one more. Um, reclaim your power. Don't give your power away to anyone. Say to yourself, I am strong and capable. I can approach this situation with confidence and skill, okay? So if you've been feeling like, Oh my God, like, if I say no, if I, if I, <laughs> okay, if I say no, if I say yes, right, I'm going to be judged either way, either way, they're going to judge me. It's like, take back your power, do whatever you want to do. 
do what you want to do. Do what you honestly feel led to do and what is beneficial for you is what you're being called to focus on, okay? Thank you so much for watching Soul Foolish Girl and I definitely will see you guys soon. I miss you so much. Much gratitude, bliss, okay? And earthly blessings. Until next time, peace and love.